I think uh, Apollo represents a really big step forward for the robotics industry as a whole. Austin-based Aptronic just launched its latest humanoid robot called Apollo. So think of Apollo like the personal computer in 1982. Jeff Cardenas is the CEO and co-founder of Aptronic. Tell me about the specs on Apollo. So Apollo is five foot eight. He's, he's hanging from the gantry right now, but he's about five foot eight. He weighs about 160 pounds. He has a swappable battery, so you can pull his battery out and put a new one in, like you change it out on your drill or any other tool. And he can lift about 55 pounds, depending on what he's doing. Apollo's first mission will be warehouse work. Cardenas says top retailers have already put in orders for Apollo. He's gonna be moving boxes initially uh, from point A to point B. And so even though the potential is very high, the current technology and what it's capable of doing reliably um, and efficiently is really what we call gross manipulation. So he's gonna be handling boxes and moving them around and uh, doing all the things that people don't wanna to do today. They engineered Apollo from the ground up, creating their own parts and designs and integrated artificial intelligence. Yeah, AI is a big part of what we do. First, they used AI for physical manipulation and Cardina says they will introduce AI for cognitive intelligence as the technology evolves. So a lot of the work that we've done on Apollo is to fine tune the physical intelligence. What is hand-eye coordination? How does it identify objects and then grab them? How does it balance and move around the world? So kind of the base layer of AI is all of the physical intelligence and that's become much more mature over the last, call it, decade. The next big frontier is cognitive intelligence, and that's the ability for the robot to reason and respond to its environment. And that's still relatively in the early days. But Apollo is a platform, and so he's one software update away from a new uh, functionality or new capability as we move ahead. And there are bigger plans for these humanoid robots than just warehouse work. Aptronic teamed up with NASA, so one day an advanced version of Apollo can work in space. Our early work in the lab was with NASA Johnson Space Center on a robot called Valkyrie. So Apollo represents the culmination of early research and development for DARPA to build one of the first electric general purpose robots called Valkyrie. And then Aptronic as a company was really created to commercialize that work and you know increase the robustness and the performance, the reliability and the safety to ultimately get these robots out of the lab and out into the real world. We're gonna start here on Earth, uh, but you know the sky's the limit and the, the dream is to take these to the moon, Mars, and beyond. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and get the latest news by downloading the CBS Austin News app.